Well, with us to discuss the report is Rebecca Shaw, Chief Scientist at the World Wildlife Foundation. Uh, morning to you, Rebecca. That sounds uh, very dramatic. Uh, how serious is the, what the details of the report? It's very serious. As you said, the, the report finds that one million of animal and plant species are now threatened with extinction within decades, more than ever in human history. And the health of our ecosystems is eroding because of it. And the very foundations of our economies, our food security, and our health around the globe are at risk as a result. Uh, what's causing these risks? Um, it, unsustainable uh, practices, uh, the, um, having to do with food production, with uh, the, um, the development of fossil fuels, and um, our, our insatiable appetite for consuming more and more and more as, our, as we, um, our, our economies grow around the world. Uh, it's, frightening. it's frightening as the benefits that we get from ecosystem, healthy ecosystems are significant. Healthy soil that produces an abundant food supply, intact forests clean our air, wetlands filter our water, coral reefs produce abundant fish for us to eat. It goes on and on and on. All is at risk unless we change the way we produce and consume um, uh, 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 products in, on the globe. Uh, the report says that some of these species are at risk. Have we reached a tipping point or is there still time to sort of remedy some of this and, and, and pull back some of this bad news? There is absolutely time for us to do something and do something significant. But we need to move fast, uh, both on climate change and on the, on the decline of biodiversity, both species and ecosystems. We can work together. Uh, uh, governments need to set policies that, that have incentives, incentives for all to care for nature. Companies need to incorporate health of nature into their bottom line. And as individuals, we need to think every day about what we consume on a daily basis and make sure that the choices support healthy ecosystems and thriving biodiversity. I mean, listening at home, you might think, well, I've heard this before. You know, what actually needs to happen next? What pressure are you going to apply to mean that there'd actually be concrete change? Well, you know, the, 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 the interesting thing is we know exactly what we need to do, and we're doing them in certain places around the planet. We just need to ramp up the scale of which we're taking care of our soils, taking care of our forests, and taking care of our, uh, of our oceans to make sure that we have a healthy ecosystems in the future. Um, very simple things. Uh, consume... Uh, consume less meat, uh, make sure that we're actually uh, eating uh, food that is produced sustainably and produced in a way that gives back to the earth, gives back to nature. And lastly, make sure that none of our products are coming from, uh, defore from as a result of the deforestation. As you show those pictures, many of our species are being lost as a result of rampant deforestation in the tropics and throughout the world. And the coral reefs are being lost because of the increase of climate change. Choices that we make every day, that governments make every day, can make a big, big difference if we work in a concerted effort together. Rebecca Shaw, Chief Scientist at the World Wildlife Foundation. Thank you.